you need to know that you are on a ridiculous marathon and that most yeah. likely nothing good will happen for the next seven to 11 years. Seven to 11. Yes, sir. And you think magically, if you keep patient and you keep doing it, something's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. Do you think about the audience first or don't you? You gotta just press record. Welcome back to Think Media. Sean Cannell here. Let's get into Gary Vaynerchuk's top seven rules of YouTube success, starting with number one, YouTube is a marathon and not a sprint. Uh, I average anywhere between like 10 to 50 views and I have like 45 subscribers. I'm brand new, like I started six months ago. Okay, so why are you doing this? Because uh, I want to basically be like the male Ellen DeGeneres. I want to be like Joe Rogan. Like I, that's like the dream, that's the dream. Great, if that's true, then you need to stop calling shows and getting positive feedback or feedback two months into it. You need to know that you are on a ridiculous marathon and that most yeah. likely nothing good will happen for the next seven to 11 years. Seven to 11? Yes, sir. Okay, I mean, that's, I mean, that's absolutely legit, but this- I just need you to know something. Yes. Whenever that piece of advice comes out and the response is that, yes, you're right, but you've already lost. You know that, right? The punchline is, yeah. It's seven to 11 years. How old are you again? 23. Great. Like, I'm telling you to your face, you have no prayer of being Joe Rogan or Ellen DeGeneres for the most part. And if you do, I wanna remind you that both of them had seven to 15 year careers before they even looked remotely close to Ellen. I just wanna remind everybody who's watching the show, I've been in the public limelight producing content on an everyday basis for the last 11 years. Wow, okay. So like my perspective is just broken. Okay. You're worried about two months in on a journey that is gonna be the next 10 to 15 years. Rule number two, clarity. Is your content entertainment or education? I think it's about, are you putting out entertainment or are you putting out education? Because 90% of people are putting out selfish content. 90% yeah. of people are putting out press releases. Yeah. They want, to, they want you to think something about them. They're making it selfish for themselves. They wanted to go to Maui and surf, so that's the content you're getting. But did that bring you any value? They want you to think they're cool. 90% of the content right now are people acting like PR agents of themselves. I'm asking people to look like educators or entertainers. Yeah. Do you think about the audience first or don't you? Hey, do you wanna learn the latest online video growth strategies from Gary Vaynerchuk, Alex Hermosi, Patrick Bet David from Valuetainment, and the Think Media team? We're gonna get into number three in just a second, but if you haven't heard, Grow With Video Live is coming up soon, online and in person in Las Vegas with Gary Vaynerchuk keynoting. So you can check out all the details at growwithvideolive.com, but make sure to secure your spot because there's only limited tickets remaining at growwithvideolive.com. Rule number three, master content and distribution. Look, there's only two things, the content and distribution. And so whether it's becoming a part of forums around UFC, I keep using hers, you know, like become a member of, of forums, become a member of Facebook groups. Most of you are not hustling distribution. You're focusing on the content and you think magically, if you keep patient and you keep doing it, something's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. It's far more interesting for you to take control of your distribution through collaborations, through proper hashtag distribution on the Instagram world, from reaching out, biz deving, reaching out, being part of forums and other internet communities like Facebook groups to become part of that community so when you put out stuff, people wanna support you. I would tell you with Wine Library TV, I spent 20 minutes making the video and I spent five hours creating the distribution. Rule number four, stop being selfish and think about your audience first. I am blown away how many creators spend all their time being selfish mentally. Like 99% of the emails and DMs and conversations I have in conferences like this are predicated on how, start with how do I, how do I, get more subscribers? How do I get more engagement? How do I get more money from brands? How do I quit my job and do this full time? How do I, how do I, how do I? So I will tell you, 
without knowing most of you in any shape or form, I still will default into that 95% of the people in this room will not get to where they want to get to because their entire filter on everything they're doing is 100% selfish and the only way to actually amass victory in this game where as amazing it is that we live in a day and age now where you can be a creator and like just live your life and love what you do and make a living, the equal problem is anybody can do it, which creates a very fun dichotomy of supply and demand. You wanna know what most people's vulnerability is? I. The reason I always win every time I enter something else, it's what can I do for you? And not the person that has 11 million, just the person that's right next to me because karma and doing the right thing and kindness and being a human always wins in the end. Always. It does. It does because, because what you don't know is the person next to you may have 48 subscribers, but his aunt runs Rule number five, be authentic. The second biggest vulnerability for the creators in this room and the people at home that will watch this is A, it's I, 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 B, it's just not the truth. For me, one of the most interesting things that I watch every day in this space is people think that fake it till you make it is still real. There are so many people posing it because they feel like they have to inflate their backstory or what they're capable of or the advice that they're giving to break out, yet that is the exact same reason that they won't break out. To me, everybody who's trying to be a life coach or expert or you know, an entrepreneurial expert, like the amount of people that are entrepreneurial experts but have never built an entrepreneurial thing. <laughs> Look, I wish I could be a quarterback of an NFL team, but like I can't and all of you can see that and it's proven. Unfortunately, with entrepreneurship, it's not proven. You can just put it in your Instagram profile and thus you are. Number six, create strategic content around trending topics. And then reverse engineering content creation. Let me explain. As we speak right now, I have a video going viral. It's called August. I made it so we could run it on August 1st. Producing content that you know has a chance of going somewhere based on when you make it. A Monday morning rant that you post on Monday morning. Making relevant content to what's going on in the world, either in pop culture, you know, your thoughts on what Miley Cyrus did on Wrecking Ball, or the Kanye and Taylor Swift, Kim and Con- you know, Taylor Swift fight, or, or the Olympics starting. Making content that's relevant, that gives it a little bit of legs for shareability, is very important from the content creation. In just a second, we're gonna be getting into number seven and also stick around until the end of the video because there's also a bonus tip from Gary for you. But if you've been getting value, can you hit the like button? And as a reminder, Gary is gonna be speaking at our annual Think Media conference called Grow With Video Live. All the details and tickets are available at growwithvideolive.com. And our speakers include Patrick Bet David from Valuetainment, Alex Hermosi, Shalene Johnson, Vanessa Lau, Jasmine Starr, of course, Gary V, and the entire Think Media team is going to be there. If you wanna learn all of the latest strategies for growing your personal brand with social video and YouTube, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this powerful event. You can attend online or in person in Las Vegas. So go to growwithvideolive.com for all the details. Now, before we get into our bonus tip, rule number seven is read and reply to comments. Is you've got to become religious about your audience. Like, you have to become religious about your audience. Like, guys, honestly, straight up, if you're sitting in the crowd right now, it's unacceptable for you not to reply to the comments you get on your content. I don't know how, honestly, like, it. Like, I'm just gonna go that literal with it. I don't like to do definitives things because that's just not how life is, but I'm just comfortable going there. It is actually fundamentally grossly negligent and unacceptable for you to be in a place where you do not reply with a thank you or a heart or a meaningful, you read it and you meaningfully wrote something back to every single comment you have right now in whatever limited that is because those seven people are disproportionately the reason you're gonna get 17. And yet you're so worried about getting the next 10 that don't know you, you're giving no love to the seven that decided to watch your horse And now for the bonus YouTube tip of the day from Gary Vaynerchuk, collab with other creators. And so one of the great ways to do that is collaborations. I think if you've got a YouTube channel, you need to basically reach out to 
I don't know, the other 7,000 people that are in your genre and reach out to them and see if you can bring them value, right? Horace, you love UFC, you decide to start a channel, you need to reach out to the 40,000 UFC channels and be like, hey, you know, I'm in the network, so I go to gyms, I can get you original content, can you put me on your show to bring me value for my show? When you have 44 viewers, you can't offer somebody who has 400,000 viewers, let's trade, you'll be on my show, I'll be on your show. You get laughed out of the room and people do that. That's not the way you're gonna win. That's not 5149. What you can offer is something in return. What you can offer is access because you're in those gyms with original content. So maybe you can be doing on location interviewing for that big UFC thing and then, you know, and for yourself too and then that put person puts you on. You can offer money if you've got it. That's fine. I mean, whatever it is. So it's about distribution. So collaborations with other YouTube shows for sure. Social media through and through, creating enormous amounts of content. I've been spending even more time paying attention to how people are building organic following on Instagram and hashtag culture really works. For the people that are really patient, you know, and, and I have been flow with my hashtag work. Dunk, you do a good job with me on Musical.ly. You're like, this is the one that works. Like just, you know, I, I, I would even argue that I'm being lazy with my hashtag work in Instagram for sure. But for a lot of you, you have to go down that route. It really, really, really works. Like, comment, and subscribe.